Have you ever wondered why the sky is blue? Do you think the reason they give us is the real reason? Could there potentially be something up there that's blue colored that's making us see blue? Well, if you've ever wondered these questions, stick around. I might give you some evidence to make you think it's something that you never did. Let's first look at why they tell us it's blue. They say blue light is scattered more than the other colors because it travels at shorter, smaller waves. This is why we see a blue sky most of the time. I'm a big believer in Occam's razor, which simply says the most simple explanation is most often the correct one. So could it potentially be we're just seeing something that's actually blue up in the sky? And when I think of seeing something that could actually be blue, it makes me think of this phenomenon that scientists study all the time and it's not in the mainstream and it's called sky ice. Now this is found largely in Antarctica and it's called sky ice because it happens to have the exact same color as the sky. Now, why would this have such a low profile? Why wouldn't it be talked about? And why would it be found specifically in Antarctica? Well, I wanna let you listen to this gentleman that was in the army and had an experience, and you can hear what he said, and then we'll talk about it some more. They had two different kinds of ice they worked on and studied. This is where it gets interesting. One kind of ice was the normal kind that we've all seen. They took cores of it, out of boreholes in the ground. Just like normal ice, it was mostly clear and sometimes white, and it would melt into liquid water if it got warm. The whole area of Antarctica is covered in this kind of ice. But that wasn't their main kind of ice. The only time I ever saw them actually studying normal ice was when a film crew from National Geographic came by. The rest of the time, <laughs> which was most of the time, the scientists were studying something they called sky ice. This stuff was totally different. We were never allowed to go into the laboratory areas of the station because the labs had to be kept super clean and they said it would mess up their work if they risked letting too many people in the lab. But one time, one of the researchers that I was friends with showed me a piece of sky ice. You couldn't touch the stuff with your bare hands because it was so cold and it wasn't clear or white like normal ice. It was solid blue, he said. That's why they call it sky ice, because it was the exact same color as the sky. We had to wear our thick, heavy going outside gloves to handle it. The stuff was so cold, it would instantly freeze your skin if you touched it. I don't remember what the temperature he said it was, but it was something like hundreds of degrees below zero. Now it's funny to me that they're always finding the sky ice in Antarctica. And what it makes me think of is how Antarctica, in my world, and a lot of people's worlds, is actually the ice wall that surrounds the known lands that would connect to what we call the firmament. Could it be that the firmament comes down in Antarctica and that's where they're getting this blue ice from? You see, every single ancient culture, all of them, until literally today's culture, and until NASA came around in 1958, believe that we lived in an enclosed system with some sort of barrier or dome above us. Could it be that we are seeing the dome? That blue color we see in the sky is the color of the dome? Even our most ancient of ancient history books, the Bible references the sapphire stone above our heads. What color is sapphire? Exactly the color of the sky ice and exactly of the color of the sky we see every day. So you have to ask yourself, do you believe this in that we see blue light because the molecules in the air scatter blue light from the sun more than they scatter red light? Or do you believe in Occam's razor that the simplest explanation is the right one and that you are living like all the ancient cultures thought in an enclosed system and above you, that enclosed system is the color of the sky eyes blue. And as always, this is of course just my opinion. I'm not speaking that as fact. It is purely entertainment just for your enjoyment.